Hey YouTube, Toxic here. Um, got a quick video of the 1260-1262 mod, um, the E-Hyde pump, return pump. Um, I got a brand new 1260 here and a E-Hyde part. It's the part number 7443670. I'll take pictures of it and put it on the video after I'm done filming. Um, but basically what you do replace the one that comes with the pump with this one and it it opens the flow so so to speak the one that comes with a 1260 is more restrictive than the one that comes with a 1262 um, let's go open this up Fins. and pump all right so let's open this up here all right so we have a part here here's the pump pop that open open up the front cap this is the one that comes with the 1260 this is the one that comes with 1262 um, can't really see it well you may be able to pick it up in the video but this the 1260 has an inner ring that's more restrictive than the 1262 and from the internet posts and forum posts and stuff like that it basically turns it into a 1262 um, about the same wattage everything really that's really the only physical difference between the two pumps you got the the part the 1262 part you get does not come with the o-ring so you gotta take the o-ring out of the one that comes with the 1260 put it on there and snap that in line it up it does have the little inner rubber ring it does come with the inner rubber ring, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's put it in there. Make sure it's lined up. Is it lined up? Make sure it's lined up. Push it in there. And get the cap on. And that's basically it. Now this pump is supposed to be uh, 1262 now. And you probably save like about 50 bucks by just doing this mod versus buying a 1262 by itself. Alright, I'll probably cut out, probably see if we could probably put together a video of the pump working, getting some gallons out and see um, some cap comparison between with the same pump but between the two heads. Alright guys, so we're back. Um, I got the bucket set up outside. Got three and a half gallons of water in there. Um, it's probably going to start pulling air around one and a half gallons to one and a quarter gallons. The pump will probably stop pulling air. I got it connected to one of those like Christmas tree remote timers and I have the switch right here. So let's see. Right now it has the, the fitting that came with it, the 1260 fitting that came with it. So let's see how fast it'll take, well how long, sorry, it'll take to, um, Get down to one and a half gallons. All right, so let's go ahead, refill the bucket, switch the part to the 1262 part, and see what we got. Okay, so we're back. I got the 1262 part in there. Now you notice um, one thing to note is that I have the hose way higher than the bucket. So siphon issue should be eliminated by having it higher than the pump. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Alright, so that's drained down to one and a half gallons. 
I know you probably can't really tell right now, naked eye, I can't really tell which one's faster, I can't really remember, but in the editing I will put up a timer, so I guess we could see which one was a little faster, displacing that amount of um, gallons.